Hello guys, Andrew Flint, uh, Burton Album Manager here, um, settling just outside the playoffs in Division 4. Um, I thought I'd do an update uh, just as we come up to a playoffs coming along soon. Um, well, long story short, I had an absolute shocker. <laughs> um, I managed to get into the playoffs and I was really, really keen with the squad I had. It was, everything was good. And then six defeats in a row out of nowhere. I genuinely have no idea how it happened because I didn't change anything particularly drastically. I always rotate my players as much as I can. A couple of loan signings even had a ratings raise. So, yeah, that was disappointing. Um, during that time, I was offered the a job at a higher level um, with Burnley. And I turned it down because, just like Burton Albion's most legendary manager, um, Nigel Clough, I am more of the loyal variety, or at least I like to think so. But seriously, I put a lot of time and effort into Burton, and I don't see the point in just jumping ship straight away until I've seen this process through. For me, a process is at least two or three seasons, um, and I'm slowly starting to get rid of the older players in my squad for slightly younger ones. So I turned it down, um, and many are probably thinking that it was a slightly, in hindsight, a slightly odd decision. But anyhow, we've only got, uh, was it five games left till the playoffs, I think it is. Um, and I'm six points off. So it's looking pretty unlikely right now. The motivation for me, really, is having a plan and seeing it through. I know some people want instant success, and that's for them. Personally, I don't really agree with it for me. But that's what people want. They can do whatever they like. For me, there's more gratification in trying to plan for the long term. Um, so that's why I'm trying to revitalise my squad, and that's why I decided to stay at Burton. Um, I've not really been the most active, if I'm honest, on the Facebook pages and on the feed, mostly because I, I come to Soccer Manager for the, well, just for the for the game itself, really. I don't come for it really for the main reason for me is not the social aspect, although I do see how successful this game world has been. It's what sets it apart from other game worlds. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I think there are people use Soccer Manager for very different reasons, and I don't think that should be sneered at. Some people like it for their main hub of social interaction because you've got like-minded people playing the same sort of game. You're interested in building teams and stats and whatnot. Um, people like me who don't really go for the social aspect so much, but like and appreciate the well-run game worlds. And that's what I gravitated towards. So I do feel a bit bad because I want to contribute in the spirit of the game world a bit more. So I will try and do more updates like that. Um, I think um, I think for me with uh, TFSL, is it, it's got the right sort of managers in it. There are always going to be some people who will disagree and some disagreements end up getting blown way out of all proportion. But if the right spirit is kept, I think the game will, will be successful. And that's what it's proven to be so far. Um, so I've got a lot of time and a lot of respect for the guys running it who set it up and everybody who contributes to it, because without them, it becomes nothing. Um, uh, yeah, just... Uh, yeah, my my background, is, my background in football is I write for and I edit for... Uh, totalfootballanalysis.com and Ronnie Dog Media, the group of websites. Just as a little shout out, I did this last time as well. Anybody who's interested in writing about football, analysis in particular, please get in touch with me, send me a direct message um, because we're always looking for new writers and we are the only people who produce an analysis specific magazine every month. Uh, it's a digital magazine. It's honestly some of the best analysis I've seen out there. I'm blown away each month by it. Um, and that's that's honestly the one thing I'd like to plug. So, guys, um, we've already had a few people, um, uh, Pablo Maggio, um, Keith Fitzsimmons, they've joined up from Soccer Manager. They've from you probably know those guys already. They've they've joined up um, to write. So, guys, just get in touch, please do. It'll be the best decision you make because we're a really well run outfit. There's about hundred writers, we've got about thirty websites running, and a and a magazine as well. Anyhow, guys, that's the update from me. That's from Burton Albion. Um, good luck with the game, world, guys. I'm going to pray to pray to God I can somehow claw back into the playoffs. But if not, I'll stay true to my word. I'll get Burton Albion up eventually. Bye. Right, bye. Bye.